I got several requests from you guys to create a tutorial on how to create a heat haze from a jet engine, for example. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. This is a tutorial on how to create that heat haze from a jet engine and you can use exactly the same technique to create any kind of heat haze that you like. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Okay guys, we will use this photo for this tutorial and we will create some heat haze from all those four jet engines. And let's see first in real life how the heat haze looks from a jet engine. So this is a real photo, real heat haze from this uh, plane here and there are two jet uh, jet engines uh, behind it and as you can see there is two streams that are going wider and wider all the way down and there are like some ripples here and the background is blurry behind that so we will try to recreate this effect so let's go back to our scene and how i like to do this i like first to make a selection of the parts of the image that will be under that heat haze so I will use the lasso tool, you can use whatever tool that you like, you can use even a pen tool or polygon lasso tool if you're up to it, but lasso tool I think is the easiest one. So I will make a little bit bigger selection, then I can use a layer mask to tweak it later to make it perfect. So let's go something like this and the heat haze from this center will go all the way like this and somewhere somewhere here okay then i will press and hold shift to add a new selection and the heat haze from this center will go something here all the way down and like this maybe i will add even more here just in case all right then we have those two engines so again press and hold shift and just create a selection it will go something like this and somewhere here and then I'm still holding shift down haze from this one something like this and that's that's it this is okay so we can always tweak that and change that with layer mask later right I purposely did a little bit bigger selection now what I like to do is to extract that selection by pressing ctrl or command j on a keyboard and now I have it on a separate layer just that selection okay now I will duplicate this three times just to have a copy version just in case. I, I need two more for sure, but I will make three copies. So Control Command J two more times and I have three copy of this. Now what I like to do is to hide to hide the first the two and go with this one and go first and blur it because if you remember here everything behind it is blurry. So Let's go with a filter and let's go with a Gaussian blur. Why not? So let me see. Less or I think there is something, something like that will be okay. So now that we blurred it, we need to create those ripple kind of effect like frosted glass. This reminds me on the frosted glass effect. So we will do the same. We have a filter in Photoshop that will emulate that effect. So for that, we need to go to filter and filter gallery and then just go and uh, use distort glass and here on the texture choose frosted. So that's it. Now I need to unzoom this several times to see the whole image and this is it now now everything is a matter of playing with those sliders so it depends of an image size and of the kind of effect that you want to achieve just play with those sliders until you're satisfied how this looks so i'll just play a little bit with this scaling maybe a little bit bigger something like this is not bad distortion maybe even more and the smoothness, it can be really smooth or a little bit less smooth. So depends of what we want to achieve. Maybe scaling a little bit more. So let's let's leave it like this. We can invert it if that's better, but it's almost the same. I will press OK and this is how it looks for now. Not bad at all. It is really, really nice. But I don't like how it looks here on the engines. I like to be uh, less uh, blurry and I want to be like uh, smaller 
smaller that uh, ripple distortion effect. So that's why we have another layer. So I will uh, make it visible, go here and go again to filter and to filter gallery and just without blurring it, I will apply the same effect, but with a little bit of tweaks. So I want to scale to be smaller. Okay. I'm just looking here on this jet engine part. So scaling smaller. I don't want smooth at all. I want something like this and distortion, maybe less, maybe, maybe like this. And I will press OK. And now it's much better. This part is much better, but here for the blurry part, I will use another layer. So let's, let's now create a layer mask and let's mask out the parts that we don't want. So I will do the opposite. I will create a black layer mask and mask in some parts that I want to have on this image from the smaller parts. So by to create the black layer mask, just press and hold Alt or Option key and click on the layer mask icon. So that's simple as that. Now I will use brush, really soft one. And uh, let's see, let's use, let's use 100% opacity for a start. White brush and I just want to brush out this. I want to paint the effect right here where the engine is. It's much better right now. So here too. And now I will change the opacity to 50% and paint here a little bit. So a few times like this. And I will make brush much bigger. Why? Because of that gradient that smooth brush has. So it will be softer transition between between those two layers. So as you can see, it has a gradient, really nice gradient. So as bigger, if the brush is bigger, then the gradient will be better. If the brush is smaller, let me see, let me show you. If the brush is small, then the gradient will be not so good. So big brush, it has a really nice big gradient. So let's go back. And this is how it looks for now. I like it. Now we can play with those edges. But before that, I want to create a layer mask on the layer below too. And just with a black brush, I want to smooth in these edges here. And I will do that with, with the upper layer to just a little bit like this. So I don't want to have anything from uh, the layer below here. So that's it. And now what we can do, we can group those two layers by selecting both of them and press Ctrl or Command G on a keyboard. And now put a layer mask here and with really nice smooth brush, just with maybe 50% opacity for a start, just smooth out this. And again, I want a big brush. So for a start, then I will lower the opacity of the brush, something like this. Now I will use 20% opacity and try to smooth out this part here and here so i need a few more times to go with the brush and now it's everything is a matter of tweaking so just invest a little bit more time and tweak it and i will go here and just raise a little bit of the effect because here already haze is gone so something like like this now we can go with 100% opacity brush and just tweak it really nicely here around the, the engine if you're up to that. But remember that the more time you invest, the better effect will be. So control how the heat looks. Okay, guys, and this is really, really nice. Now you can go and play with other effects. You can add even more haste to that heat. You can do in several different ways. I will show you one of the ways with a curves adjustment layer. So just go here, add curves adjustment layer, clip it to affect only that haze here and click one, uh, put one point uh, anchor point here and one in the middle and just move this up a little bit. You will see that we introduced a little bit of the haze here that I really like. So this is cool. And what you can do, you can create a new adjustment layer and put it maybe in uh, color burn blending mode and use some other brushes. You know that I love to use that cloud brush that I have and I have a tutorial on how to create a cloud brush 
and you can find the link right here or you can go to my website and buy uh, my cloud brushes for just one dollar so whatever you want okay so with the cloud brush why i like it because it's it's really nice nice shape of that and i like to use that shape so i can add a little bit of the effect right here this is only 20 percent opacity so like this and then i can create another layer put it maybe no just in normal blending mode and use this color and just add like some kind of smoke here just a little bit to add to the effect and that's it guys as you can see this is really really nice and easy way to create that haze haze, haze heat so this is before and this is after before and after and now you have that effect that that jet engine is really really hot and uh, you have that uh, haze uh, heat haze from the engine for all you guys who stick with me here till the end, I decided to create this bonus part and to show you how to animate this jet engine haze. So it's really easy. I already did a tutorial on how to do a frame animation in Photoshop so you can check it out. And now I will do the same here. So it's like this. You need to make several copies of this layer as I already did at the beginning. That's this one that I left just in case. So we have it here and then just go and make several more copies so i will make four of them you can make 10 20 doesn't matter so you can then go and hide all of them go to the first one go to filter gallery and repeat that same filter effect but with a different settings so just apply different settings on another one go apply a little bit different settings like this on another one a little bit different settings so on each new layer you need to create different settings and now that you have this you need to go to window and timeline and create frame animation you have create video timeline but you want to create frame animation and just go and put all of these in this group hide them all this is your first frame create a new one add a new one create a new one add a new layer create a new one, add a new layer, and that's it. Now you just need to press play and here it is. All you need to add is a little bit of the sound and you will get this. Right guys, and that's it for today. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new and useful from this one. You now definitely know how to create that heat haze effect from a jet engine, but you can apply this exactly the same technique to create any kind of heat haze effect. Just practice, experiment and have fun. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them down there in the comment section below and I will be glad to answer them. If you appreciate this content, please press that like button down below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Press that uh, bell icon, notification icon to be notified about all the future episodes. And if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Right, guys, have fun and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.